second episode of the Mark II build. We did, in this episode, the air intake. The air intake from the intercooler to the nice inlet we built. So now everything is together. I will show you, of course, what I did on this. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kid. Aluminium is always a little bit tricky. It's a little bit soft, but on the other hand, to make it smooth, it takes a lot of small steps, a lot of effort to get it smoothened out. But pretty proud of this result. Then I went on to one of the, I believe most of the difficult jobs I did till so far on this. We wanted to have the alternator at the bottom of the engine. Normally it's with the, with this model, it's all over here next to the engine. Um, some of you like it, some of you don't like it, but this time we wanted it out of sight to give, to give the engine a little bit of a cleaner look. That's what we're doing here at the moment a lot. But that meant the tooth belt was too long, so we could not use that anymore. The other side of this engine, it was all put together with lots of stuff, so it was never going to be in the right direction and with the right parts. Luckily, I got lots of uh, lots of parts with this engine. I do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. And I sorted out all the stuff, all the pulleys, all the tooted belts, all the V V pulleys, and came up with a solution. I'm pretty proud of this solution. It took me a lot of work, a lot of engineering, and uh, I googled a lot of G-loader engines and scrolled down to them all. Saved all the pictures to get my own solution of this issue or actually doing a cool thing. And that's building stuff that are not around and are different that not everybody has. That's non-standard. Again, okay, I like non-standard. So the alternator is all the way down on the bottom here now, which I will show you. Internally, I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with. We made completely new adjustable alternator mounts, new spanner, span roll. The final parts are over here, which we are going to build in the next episode. We still don't have all the AN fittings in, so unfortunately we could still cannot finish the cooling lines. But on the other hand, that's good for the next episode. So you guys can keep watching and following us in this build. There's always something to do and there's always something new that we're building. Oh yes, and this was an intriguing one. Because of the diameter of the pipe and the distance from the intercooler to the inlet, it's really strange corner. So we started out with 54 degrees pipes, but I already knew that when we ordered 90 degrees or what else, we we should never could never make this turn in the right in a real short angle. So we made some pie cuts and some 54 degree angles to get this result, and it turned out spot on. In the next episode. Uh, hopefully the radiator is here as well, so we can finalize these with the AN fittings. The intercooler stuff should be in, that's going to be on there as well. So we're getting to the final bits. And I don't really care what you think of me respectfully. You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better, see? I will not work you, turn you to an enemy. Hurt you so bad that you're gonna need some therapy. I got the motherfucking recipe. I've been cooking up hits, I'm a my way so you can go kick rocks i'm a stack bricks up build what i want to make
thing we're going to do now is to get the clean air lines up to the inlet. From the intercooler to the inlet manifold, I want to make the same diameter as the inlet manifold, the tubings. We ordered some aluminium tube and some Semco hoses to get the job done. So it's going to be a lot of cutting and welding. First up is we need to get this as short as possible to connect to here and we can turn it in the right angle. So let's cut it. Okay, after lots of cutting and ended up with pie cuts and some 45 degrees corners. Um, the corners of the 45 degrees which you can order are actually too big to make it to, to the complete setup. So we made some pie cuts and some 45 degrees to get the result we wanted. And now we have a smooth, as smooth as possible flow for the air. It sticks fairly easy so the flow is good. Okay, proud moment again. After all these parts, all these wheels, to get the belt right, because we changed the position of the alternator. I hope you can see it. We've made a bracket, it's just a test bracket, but the alternator is at the bottom of the car. Originally, with the G60, is, you can see it's here. Most of the 16 valves have the alternator here, and the older models, the 8V, have them here. But we want a clean engine bay, so we had to change it. As you can see here, the belt is at the loader, at the water pump, and at the crank. The only thing I need to make is a spanner to get the belt on tension, and afterwards, with the old school V, I'm going to connect the alternator. prototyping I'm making a new bracket for the alternator to fit at the other side underside of the motor. The final bits to do is to align it with the belt. It's a feed belt so I'm going to put this one up at the moment and then see 
how far we need to go outside this way and that way for the right tension of the belt so the final bit is going to be installed I'm going to draw, draw a lot of helping lines on the computer to see where we can end up Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crash it in my car I've been making this very complicated for now But got one finished I'll be a superstar, just like my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling Take a six shot, still I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots, all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost Hmm. So, this is kind of looking like what I had in mind. But the alignment is good. Check out the alignment of the belt now this way. So that should be going, should be good. Of course, this bracket needs to be in front of here. <laughs> Damn you! So close and yet so far away. Sometimes you need to let loose, grab juice, get goose, tap juice, tap boost, get screwed. Loosen up, buttercup, all those hate comments will never make you feel enough. We're all it's heart full of calluses, but we know calculus. Damn, ain't that fabulous? Can't wait to apply all those mathematicus. But we can't get a job that pays us enough. I'm about to pop up. Fuck you, you're lost. We all know that we never really want a boss. So I'ma do what I want to. Something I can't undo. Yeah, I'ma do what I want to. Something I can't undo I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get Holy damn, this is a nice one I'm really, really happy on this Turned out perfectly the way I want it I hope you can see it right here This is why I like engineering It always ends up good Oh, this was some good progress on this build I really enjoyed this one, made some cool engineering stuff, which I'm really proud of. Extremely proud, maybe. Hope you liked watching this episode. Please subscribe to our channel, like the builds, ring the bell, and put something in the comments. Thank you. This place don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way, so I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay. I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'll get on set. So I'm taking six shots all straight.